So today's video is a nerd haul. So pretty much, I just got a bunch of Star Wars and Harry Potter stuff, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm going to mention some clothing, accessories, um, lots of makeup, and some home decor, and then like completely random stuff. So it's a huge mixture of things, but there is a lot of makeup involved in this. But I thought it would be fun because there's been a lot of stuff, especially for Star Wars coming out. Um, that is beauty related and then there has been some Harry Potter stuff so I wanted to share that with you guys. I also thought this would be fun too. I don't I've never seen anyone else on YouTube do like a nerd haul or anything like that but if you guys know of any let me know down below in the comments but I just thought this would be something new something fresh you guys I know probably see a lot of the same things over and over again like if a new palette comes out everybody is doing that a palette review on that particular palette um, or yeah, so I don't know. Like, I, I've, I've heard from people before. They told me, like, oh my gosh, every single person is doing this video. So I have a feeling there aren't going to be anybody other, anybody else doing this video. If there is, there's going to be very few. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would be fun to share all of my Star Wars and Harry Potter goodies with you. I've been actually saving up all this. Like, I've been building this um, haul up for a while. Um, I Certain stuff didn't come out when they said they were going to come out. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to add a couple things. And then, you know, I was getting behind because of Halloween. I just kept kind of pushing the video off. So I'm so glad that I'm finally filming it for you guys now. I also do want to mention that I've been getting a lot of requests for videos, which I absolutely love. So thank you guys so much for telling me what you guys want to see. Um, I will be doing more time-sensitive stuff first. Or, you know, something like this. Like, I've pushed this off for way too long. I need to just get it done so I can share stuff with you guys. Um, and then... You know, so I'm trying to do the more time sensitive stuff first, stuff that's like limited edition, um, and then I'll move into the other stuff too. You know, someone had mentioned that they wanted to see a, a Thanksgiving makeup tutorial for me, so I'm really going to try to incorporate that into my videos. If you guys really want to see that, let me know down in the comments. I'd be, I would love to do a Thanksgiving video for you guys. Like a, maybe I can do a get ready with me, or I could do at least just like the makeup tutorial, but let me know what you want to see down below. But if I, if you guys had asked, I know some people have asked, like, oh, can I see a Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette makeup tutorial? That's not limited edition. It's not for a special event, so that may get pushed off a little bit. So just know that if you request something like that, it's on my mind. I have it listed on my apps on my phone, so I, it is on my mind, and I do plan on putting it up. I just got to make sure I put the time-sensitive stuff up first. So you guys haven't seen Michael for a while, but because he was crying, I figured I would show him to you guys in this video, and of course he doesn't want to look at you guys. But he was crying outside the door, and it's just like, do you real? I'm just on the other side of the door. I didn't leave. I didn't go anywhere. Look, Michael, look at the camera. Want to look at it? Oh, look at you, so cute. So excited to be on camera. All right, be good. Don't you play with the curtain. Alright, before we jump into the haul, we're going to get all the random crap out of the way of the intro like I always do, but I did pick this up at Target today, and it's just like this little pizza ornament. Casey Holmes had mentioned this in her most recent Target haul, and I thought it was just so cute, so I wanted to share that with you guys in case you guys wanted to go get it, but how adorable is that? Alright, now let's get started with the haul. So, the first thing I want to mention to you guys is this Time Turner necklace. If you guys have seen Prisoner of Azkaban, that is the third movie or book um, in the Harry Potter series. And Hermione has this Time Turner necklace so that way she can go back in time and pretty much so she can attend multiple classes at once. And what she did was she had this necklace and then she would just turn, spin this and then that would turn back time. Um, but what it does is it flips forward but you can also, the middle part flips in. It just flips all around. It's like this hourglass in it. So it's really cool. I'll do a close-up for you guys um, of this. I think I posted on Instagram too. I don't know if on my Beauty Attic Next Door channel or my Beauty Blogger 101 channel. But I did post something, a video of showing you guys how this works. And I've been wanting to share this with you guys in a video too. Um, so I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting a Hermione Granger time turn necklace for the longest time. But I just kept pushing off the purchase. And then I think some random Facebook thing popped up and was like, you want to buy this? And it was like two bucks or something. So it was like the perfect time. So I just bought it then. So I thought it was like, I'm so, and it's like nice too. It's not, it's not even like a piece of crap. I'm not saying it's like diamonds or anything, but it's for the price that I paid. I'm really excited that, you know, it's pretty thick. Chain's pretty thick. This is pretty thick and it moves around. It doesn't get stuck or anything. So I thought that was just really fun. 
And the next thing that I'm going to talk about is my shirt. This is also another thing I think that popped up on Facebook or my girlfriend sent me a link. She wanted a shirt too. Um, so I, I got her and me each a top. And she got like a full length top and then I just got this tank top. And I'll show you. So it says my Patronus is a penguin. So there's the penguin right there. So I just thought that was cute. I figured she was getting one. I'm like, you know what? I want to get one too because I really like Harry Potter a lot. Like we're both such nerds. But yeah, if I can find the links to where I got the necklace and the shirt, I will get, let you guys know. It's probably buried in my email somewhere. I'll have to like, look really hard. But if I do find it, I will link it down below for you guys so you guys know where you can get it. But if not, I know you can definitely get stuff like this necklace on like Etsy, I think. Um, that's where I was originally looking. So just to give you an idea of where else you can look. Alright, so the next item is this Star Wars puzzle. Me and my girlfriend really like doing puzzles and we just finished one. We wanted to get another one. Now, there was originally another puzzle that was called A New Hope or something. And I ordered it online and then when I got the puzzle, it came with like the new Star Wars photo of some that, that one guy on it. And I was just like, okay, that's not the one we ordered. And we wanted the classics because we haven't even seen the new movie yet. Um, and then we went to try to reorder it and you, you couldn't order it online. You could, I couldn't get it at the one store that was at. So we decided to go with another one. So we got one that was for the clones. So we thought this would just be really fun because not only do we like puzzles, but we love Star Wars. So I'm really excited to try this one out. All right, one more product before we get into makeup. I was just at Target today. Like I said, that's where I got the pizza ornament. But I also got this Darth Vader mug. I just thought it was cute and it's nice black. Darth Vader mugs. I don't know. I just wanted it because it was Star Wars and who doesn't need more mugs? Um, so that way you don't have to worry about cleaning the other ones as much as often. Um, and once again, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I thought it'd be fun to get a Darth Vader mug. It was also the last Darth Vader mug, so to anybody at that Target that I was at today, sorry not sorry, I got the last mug. Alright, so now let's move on to makeup. So I'm going to go into the Harry Potter stuff and then I will go into the Star Wars stuff. So I got four um, liquid lipsticks from LA Splash and they're called the Lip Sm uh, Smitten, here let me just read it, the LA Splash Limp Tint Mousse. And these are limited edition, but they are still available. And they've been, and it was funny, I spent so much time and effort the day that these came out to get these. For them to still be available now and what else is annoying is that the names of these are not the names of these anymore so I'll get into that so I have Hermione Bellatrix Raven's Claw and Spellbound now out of all four of these the only one that is still called what it was originally called is Spellbound now I don't know if you guys heard about this I think a friend on Instagram told me about this I'm not sure but they were they we're selling all of these liquid lipsticks and they're supposed to be Harry Potter themed. So that's why I have a Hermione, a Bellatrix, a Raven's Claw, and there was a bunch of other ones. And to be honest guys, if these weren't named Harry Potter related names, I would not have tried these. I would have tried something else. Like I had a friend, she uh, mentioned one that she wanted me to try from LA Splash. I can't remember what it was called. I'll insert it here if I find it. But she wanted me to try, she was like, oh you need to try that. And I was going to. But then I was like, oh, if I'm going to be getting, the, I, you know, the limited edition Harry Potter ones came out. And I really want to get a bunch, especially to be able to review for you guys. Um, so I need, I wanted to get those first. And um, also I love Harry Potter. I'm like, how cool is that to get Harry Potter liquid lipstick? So that was the whole reason why I went through all that effort, spent money on four of these. Um, and I actually bought two extras just in case I liked them to do for a giveaway. But I ended up, I actually really don't like these that much. So I just sent them back because I'm not about to give away stuff to you guys that I don't like. Um, I, I usually just give away stuff. I always give away stuff that I absolutely love. Um, so I'm just like so mad because now they ended up changing the names to something else. Um, so Hermione is now, so Hermione I think is now Hermes. Bellatrix is now Belladonna. And then... Raven's Claw is now Raven. And then Spellbound is still Spellbound. So pretty much they were just worried, I don't know about like copyright infringement or like like they would get in trouble for using the names for Harry Potter from Harry Potter. I'm like, why don't you take care of that ahead of time? Like, why are you just like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have done that? Like, wouldn't you think to like look into that ahead of time just to make sure you're not like violating any sort of legal stuff? Like, I don't know. So now you guys can get these. These are still available. They are limited edition, but they they are still available. 
but they're not going to be called anything Harry Potter related except for Spellbound, which is very generic anyway. I guess Spellbound just because I liked the color of it and the other three were I like the colors um, and I also like the names. But honestly, if these had these not been called had these not been called anything Harry Potter from the get go, I would not have bought these. And I wish I wanted to return all of these, but because I opened them, the company won't let you send them back if you've already opened them. Now the one that I'm wearing right now is Bellatrix, and I actually really like the color on this. It's very unique. It's nothing that I have in my collection. It's like a gray purple, but I feel like there's like a tint of blue to it. So that at least makes me feel a little bit better that at least if I have to keep these, I was able to keep a color that I at least don't have. Now when I applied this, I had to kind of do one layer and then wait for it to dry and then do another layer because whenever I was applying it, it would kind of just bring back and forth the color and my lip kept, pop kept popping through. Like you can see pretty much an entire opening to my lip, my actual lip color. So you kind of had to wait for it to dry and then go over it again. Um, and these are a little bit sticky, not super terrible, but there are a little bit sticky. Um, and not the easiest to work with. I do like the applicator. I think the applicator is nice because it's like flattened and whatnot. But at the same time, I think I just really don't like the formulation of it. I can make it work. As you can see, I have I made it work for this video. Like it's not completely terrible. But if you're gonna be spending, let's see how much money. I'm just gonna go on my laptop. Don't worry. But yeah, these are fourteen dollars. Like I'm sorry, but for this to not be. I mean, $14 is still expensive. I mean, there are more expensive legal lipsticks out there, but $14 to get something that's hard to work with is just a pain in the butt. Like ColourPop, they're $6, and they their formulation's 10 times better. I'd be more understanding if these are $6, but ColourPop's ones are $6, and they are my favorite liquid lipsticks that I own. So Bellatrix is a cool color, so if you really want to get Bellatrix, I, or sorry, Belladonna now, Belladonna. If you really like the color, then go for it, but I wouldn't suggest getting a bunch of these just because I really don't like the formulation, um, but I do like this color. The other lipstick is Hermione, or now Hermes. This is just a basic pink, nothing exciting. I, did, I didn't mind this one as much. Um, this one was all right, but Michael, all right. Um, but this one was just all right. Once again, I don't really like the formulation of it. I would pass on this. This is such a basic color. You could find it anywhere. The other two are really similar. When I saw them in the tube, um, I thought they were the, actually the same exact color. I thought I was getting ripped off. But no, whenever I applied it or I, I did some swatches, which I'll insert some swatches above for you guys because I posted them on Instagram. Um, they were very similar, but they were different. One's a little bit more brown and one's a little bit more red. So the Raven's Claw has a little bit more red to it. And then the uh, Spellbound has a little bit more brown to it. Now, I was pissed because I was like, I'm probably never going to use these. It's all going to go to waste, but I ended up using both of these tubes in my um, Beth Green The Walking Dead Zombie Makeup Tutorial, which I will link down below for you guys. So pretty much what I did was I used both of these tubes of liquid lipstick and used that to pretty much splatter blood all over me, which it gave it more of a darker blood kind of color because I had some red, like bright red blood. Um, but I thought it was just too bright. Like I thought this would look more realistic and also liquid lipsticks last a long time. So I thought it was a good thing to use. So I used this to put it all over my face, my chest, my clothes. Um, so I went through two of these. So I'm so excited because they actually got used up. It didn't go to waste. So, I mean, there's the positive in that. But like I said, I wouldn't suggest these liquid lipsticks, but I think if there's anyone that you would get, it would be Belladonna just because it is a unique color. Um, but you're going to have to work with it a little bit more. All right, now on to the Star Wars makeup. So I just got a mascara and a lipstick and then a backup mascara. So um, this one was the CoverGirl The Dark Side, which I believe is just their regular mascara. Um, the other one, which is the light side, is the waterproof version. Let me double check. Yep, so this is the waterproof mascara. I don't typically like waterproof mascara. But I figured why not have one and then really I just wanted one for the light side and one for the dark side. Let's be real. I wanted one of both. Now, I don't think this says it on here. Let me see. Very black. That's what this is. This is also in very black. So I don't think it says it anywhere like on the actual tube that one's the dark side and one's the light side. It really doesn't matter but whatever. I wanted to show you guys too that you could get like a regular version and a waterproof version. And um... These are just the CoverGirl, the super size of the mascara, just with limited edition packaging. So I think that's really fun too. So that way, 
Like it's a formulation that you can always get. So if you end up liking it, it's great. But then you can also try it out in the limited edition version. And the thing about the CoverGirl the Super Sizer Mascara is it really does make your um, eyelashes look... Michael, are you eating something? What are you eating? He's eating this tape. I don't really... Get... This is why I don't let you in here. That's why he's always outside, not like in the actual room. Sometimes he's good. But other times, like, he's just getting into things and wants to keep jumping on my lap. Which sometimes it's fine that he stays still, but then he'll start eating things and I can't have that. <laughs> and then we got Loki in here. She'll just start climbing this and just pawing at it. So it's like cats need to stay outside. But I give you chances. I do. I give you a chance. And then you ruin it. Okay. Anyway. So yeah. So the Super Sizer Mascara, it really makes your eyes, um, eyelashes really full and really like springs them out. But the only problem is it does get a little clumpy, especially if you're trying to do the lower lash line. So you got to be careful with that. What I would do is just kind of wipe off the mascara a little bit, like the actual wand onto the tube, just to make sure that there isn't a lot of product, and then that will make it easy for you, um, and then it'll make it everything look voluminous without all the clumps. And then as for this lipstick, this is in number 50. I don't know if you guys can still get this. Um, I will look up online to see if you guys can get all of this stuff, um, but if it's not if it's not online, I would try to get it in store. And I thought 50 was good because it was, seemed like a wearable color. Like there was a gold one in there I wasn't gonna get. Um, but it seemed more wearable, but at the same time super dark. So I will show you guys a swatch of it. Here's it, here it is in the tube, like this dark purple. Um, so here it is. It's a little bit more sheer and a, has a little bit more of a gloss to it. Um, you know, so when you put it on, it's not like a matte where it's just gonna be like straight color. It's like you have to build it up to really get the color. And um, it's very creamy, um, so if you have dry lips or you like creamier lipsticks, you'll definitely like this. I'm more of a matte person just because I want, I don't want to be like eating or drinking something, it just like all this lipstick comes off, you know, like I have a better shot with liquid lipsticks. Um, but I did want to give this one a shot and it's a beautiful color. I really like the color, so I think if I ever want to wear um, a darker lipstick like this, but I don't want to have to wear liquid lipstick because like my, especially now that it's winter, my lips are getting more dry. And this is just the beginning, guys. So this is just the beginning. So I think I'll be get, uh, using this more often than I think. I'm just, I just love liquid lipsticks, but I'm trying to give other lipsticks a shot. All right, so that's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it fun. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are big Star Wars or Harry Potter fans. Like, I get super excited when the video movies come out and like I go into the theater. I'm just like, so giddy and excited, so funny. So I'm super excited for the Star Wars movie to come out. I already got tickets, um, so me and my girlfriend are gonna go together. Um, so let me know if you guys are big fans of either of those or if there's other geeky stuff that you're into, I would love to know. Also list any products that you've got that are Star Wars, Harry Potter related, I would love to know. And then if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit subscribe below. Like this video if you've liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!